so again, so just so the listeners know, Michael Dowd did not cooperate against the other officers involved, nor Adam Diaz when all of this came to light, correct? Correct. Okay. Kenny ended up cooperating in order to save his family, but he wouldn't say it that way. He says he tried to, he saved a woman's life in the, in the, in the video. Oh, right, right, in the right, show. right, right. He right. saved a woman's life. A woman's life that was never really endangered, number one. Number two, a woman's life that if it were to be endangered, would have been endangered by him because right. he kept saying, but you don't see the tape. The tape's an hour and a half long. All you hear is me say, all right, all right, we'll tie her up, we'll throw her in the trunk. It's like, I'll give you, right. an, I'll give you an example. We're both going, you and I are going out on a date. Mm -hmm. Someone's got to fuck the fat chick. Take one for the team. Okay, (laughs) so so you keep telling me, Mike, you're going to have to. And I'm like, no, 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 Mike, all right, all right, all right, I'll do it. Right, right. So that's how the conversation was for an hour. Right. Finally, all right, all right, we'll just throw her in the trunk. Because he kept going back to the same question. That was something that wasn't even supposed to happen, ever. Right. But he kept bringing it up, and I'm like... And now, and, the, and this is while, while he was obviously... While he was wired, yes, yes. So he wouldn't let it go, and I was like... What You're like, what's wrong with this what's, guy? Why do you keep asking me that question? <laughs> this is a, a woman. We're going to walk in and push her to the side. First of all, we're not even going in. <laughs> right. The two Colombians are supposed to go in, not us. <laughs> but then all of a sudden, he's got us going in. And she kept changing. I'm like, what? Right. And we weren't even going there for that the day that it happened. We went there to check out the location. So, I mean, while this was going on, were, I mean, was a red flag kind of coming I up? Was, like, I, yeah, something's not right I, I here. I it's not right, but I, I want, it was like, listen. It's your partner. It's your partner. Right. And, I mean, y'all have a history at that point. Right. You're like. I, I couldn't, listen, I was told by others to check him. He's wearing a wire. He's got to be something not right. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, sure. And I would ask him, Ken, I, just tell me, you're wearing, you're wearing a wire, tell me. You actually asked him? Oh, yeah. Three or four times. Yeah. And wh- how, I mean, would he just be like, I mean, was he Mike, pretty good? why would I do that? Right. Why? Right. I love you like a brother. I love you more than any one of my brothers. I would never do that to you. Right. Because you're asking me questions that you shouldn't be asking me because you should know the answer to these questions. Right. And, you, and it's like he's and he's beating the dead horse. Yeah. He keeps he asking keeps repeating. and trying to get a yeah. specific answer. And then answer when I mention what you've done, you tell me, no, 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 don't talk like. Right. Like, what do you mean, no, 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 no? Like he's shushing me. Right. I said, That's, are you wearing a wire? No, no, no. It's sure because you're acting like it. I don't, I don't want to believe that you're fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> At least let me know. Yeah, Give me the courtesy. Me. <laughs> Give me the courtesy. Yeah, tap me. Okay, so Jesus. Um, how is your relationship today with all the guys? At least, I mean... Everybody, you know, obviously, we all, we all know the people in the documentary, so that's, you know... Yeah, we all, we, we all have a relationship together, except for Kenny... And is that just you and him, Don, or Chicky and those Chicky guys don't either? Chicky speaks to Kenny. Okay. Because he should. And it's good that someone does. But Kenny and I had rekindled a small understanding. Based off his doc- Based like off the documentary. Doc- yeah, yeah, of course. We had an understanding. And it was an understanding that I came to. And I decided for the betterment of the team... That either it's either it's on me, it was on me or not. Right. It was either going to happen with me or it wasn't going to happen at all. Right. So I stepped up and I, with some encouragement from others, and I said, okay, I'll, I'll mend, I'll let the fence be mended. Well, he wasn't very humble. Right. But that's okay. We got past it because I know how he is. Right. Yeah. It was kind of weird. I I I, I saw a something where y'all were all making an appearance together. Y'all were all like rode yeah. up on some yes, stools. Yes. And I think. He, he had you buffered with his wife in between yeah, y'all yeah, or something. Yeah, 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 kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but, I mean, given the circumstance, I don't know, you know, some people play the victim card. Yeah. Where he, well, he, he might, it, 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 to justify it, he might feel like, oh, Dal sent me down this road. Right. And because of him, I ended up like this. I ended up like this right, with right. a pension. Yeah. And in Florida, in a house. So he, he got to keep his pension. He got to record his disability for the rest of his life. Interesting. Yeah. And okay. all the money we stole, he kept, and the houses and everything. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He didn't lose a nickel or a night's sleep. According to him, he didn't lose a night's sleep after he put his best friend and partner away. Let's just go forward and, and, and treat each other with respect from here. Right. You're not going to be you know, hanging out with me. And we're not going to be hanging out and, and, and living yeah. life together again. Right. But for the common cause, let's just keep it keep it pleasant. Do you think his wife helped his wife stir fucked, that up? His wife fucked it all up. Okay. Yeah. So, so after we we made amends, he and I made amends for what we could. Right. Listen, Mike, we both have different memories 
because he, I said, I said, let me explain something about a memory. I sat there in a prison cell for 12 and a half years. What'd you do while I was away? This, we had a big, it was, it's on film, it's on film, but they didn't put it in the movie. I said, for those 12 and a half years, you had how many more kids? Two. You raised two kids, you had a job, you got banged your fucking wife every day or night, or if you chose to, or you had a girlfriend, right. I don't know what the fuck you did. Right. I said, but all I did was sit in the cell and think of what, what happened for 12 and a half fucking years. I said, you're going to tell me you got a better memory of the version than I have? I said, you're screwed. You stewed on that. I, 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 yeah, you skewer the whole thing to make yourself look as though you did the right thing. I said, uh, I said, look, in your mind, maybe you did. I'm going to give you that because you saved your family. Right. And I don't blame you for it. What right. I'm telling you is, you could have gave me a fucking heads up. Right. You could have gave me right. a heads up and went like this. Right. Do it, I, it, it, do, it, do it, I it, come it, off like a killer? No. Okay. No. Come on. I'm a lover. Right. And, and, and right. I'll protect myself. Right. He had me killing people, going to do... What are, you what are you doing? Why are you putting me in bigger trouble? Right. So, putting... so, so versus you potentially do in two or three years, he buried you in 12 and gave you... Give me a 14-year uh, sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it, it, it may or may not have... Mattered what he did in total by lying, but it locked, but it, it, in. But it, locked it in. Yes, it that's is. that's it, the point. Right, it, that's it it, it's exactly it what it did. Yeah. It locked in the fact that they didn't have to negotiate with me anymore. Uh, did did Adam Diaz ever do prison time? Yeah, he did at least eight years, I guess, and then he did another another twelve after. Did that all stem out of this investigation too? <clears throat> His investigation was before our investigation. It was an outgrowth. Our investigation was an outgrowth of his. See, he got he got ratted out by his people, and his people ratted out us too. Oh wow! So there are people on his side were cooperating as yeah. well, okay. like underlings or whatever. Yes, right, yes. right. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts on today's uh, federal law enforcement environment, the FBI? Well, so you know, you've heard this said before, and and uh, I think we'd all agree. <laughs> The line officer, the guy who puts on his, you know, his snooze, his sneakers, and his gun belt every day, for the most part, they're good, they're good souls, you know, they go right. to work. But you're seeing, you know, are you, we're all seeing what's going on with the top echelon. It's all politically motivated. Every action, every action they took for the last several years has been based on a political persuasion that they had. And we're finding it out. You know, an agenda. I mean, they had right. an agenda. Yeah, well, they had a political agenda. Right. And, and, and it was to get Hillary Clinton elected. Right. And, and let, because, you know, and, and, the, and my personal opinion is because of all the money that Hillary was making on the side when she was running the State Department. Right. Because everything that was getting signed off on in the State Department that she was having approvals done on, those people were making millions and millions of dollars of donations to her funds and her, and her campaign funds and her... Uh, What's the, 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 the Hillary Clinton Foundation? The Clinton Found, Foundation. Yeah, the and, Foundation. Yeah, I mean, and, you know, uranium to, to the Russians. I mean, come right. on, come on. Uranium one. Are we right. stupid people? Right. We, we, may, we may be... And, and, then, and then funny, and then they actually utilize that money to fund fusion, the Fusion the GPS yes. with the dossier, which right. is fiction. Right. It's a fiction. Yeah, a f yeah, it's a good and, story. Right. It's a good story. Listen, they did it to me. And why I know, why I know what they did, they did it to me. So what do I mean? Yeah, I did something wrong. But the, when I got arrested, the newspapers, specifically Mike McAleary, began to run articles about me that weren't true. There, was, there might have been a scintillionth of truth in them. Right. And he would run an article about, I murdered nine people, I this, all the different things he could conjure up in his mind. You would think that there would be some sort of, Fact. you know, yeah, slanderous. No, no, yeah, yeah, you, you know. can't. Why I couldn't was because, I, of course, I called my lawyer. The, the guy's accusing me of all kinds right. of murders I didn't do. What's going on here? How am I going to go to trial? Right. My whole reputation. My lawyer goes, like, my lawyer says to me, what's your reputation, Mike? So you're not a murderer. You're just a drug dealer. Right, right. What kind of reputation is, it's still, it's still not good. Then He's really not slandering anything. So I said, so he gets to say these things that are untrue about me. He says, like, like how would you ever get a fair jury out of that? Well, this right. is what my fear was at right. the time, which is what they've been doing all along with the Trump stuff that's going on right. here they just keep slandering and slandering and slandering and so what they what they do is they run a cycle of stories and they they, they prove that that's how they use those stories i think through yahoo and all these right. other things of course that they set these stories in place and then then the 
the, uh, the public official would refer to the story that they set into that place. They set into place. Right. They state they it state, came from a Russian she, entity. Correct. Now they make a story about it, and then they, they set it, set it going back to the Russian entity. They say, well, the story was run in, in the, in the, on the on the New York Post or Daily News, so it must be true because it's said enough. It's a, right. If it's said enough, it must be true. Right. Well, they did the same thing to me back in 1992 and three. If there was a scintillion of truth that my name was accurate right. and that I was involved in and they're using drugs, everything else they said in there didn't matter. Right. So it was just self I mean, they would go to my house and knock on the door and say, Mrs. Dow, they would ask my mother or my wife or, or, or my family, did your son do this? Did your father do that? Did your husband do that? Because why? Because all the news, we wrote a newspaper article about it. Right, it must be true. Right. But there was no truth to it. Well, every, everyone, everyone, I mean, obviously, I think now people are hopefully starting to get it. But, uh, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I write media. I'm a commentary media writer, so I can get away with being subjective. But people think that straight news media is objective. It's, no. You know, it's not. Right. It's, uh, it's now, it's, it's, it's selling a story, and the story has whatever the agenda of the media organization is whatever and, they want to and promote. unfortunately 9.5 out of 10 are left-wing progressive media outlets you know, so, so what uh what are your thoughts on president trump um listen, i'm a new york guy right i understand you understand him. Him, right i don't really like him but i love what he's doing right if that makes sense I don't really like Trump, but I love what he's doing. I don't like Trump for a couple of reasons. He and I had a little, not a, not a confrontation one day, but uh, his, one of his drivers said he would hook me up with a hotel room in Atlantic City. And you've come to know me a little bit. If you, if you tell me something, I expect it. Right, right. of course. Okay, because that's, that's how I am. Right. Your a lot word of people, is your bond, my, right? That, that's how I roll. And that was back in 1989. But when he's spending my money, yeah. I love what he's doing, right? Right. Because as a government official, he's spending my money. He's being careful with it, right. at least from what I understand. About well, and, 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 and what I do like about him, I mean, and if you look at his campaigning platform, with what he's done where he, within his own power, I mean, obviously the wall takes funding from Congress, and, right. et cetera. But what he's done with, from within his own power, he's pretty much been a man of his word. Yes. You know? Yes. And, uh, and, I, and, and, you know, I know a lot of people think he's a loose cannon. I think you can relate to the way he is. He, 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 he's going to throw it out there. So he's going to tell you like it is, right. you know? And, so, 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 so just for, just for a brief synopsis and you'll get my, my final take on this. It's like, he wants to make a deal. You want to buy a house, he wants to sell it. Okay, so he wants a million. So if you walk in and offer him a million, he gets what he, he gets it. Right. But you come in and you offer him 200000 now he knows he's got to... At least you made an offer. You are interested in the house. Right. So he's a businessman. I'm going to nuke that fucking North Korea. Right. I don't really want to. Right. But I will if I have to. Right. So don't make me. So he starts off with the worst case scenario, and he starts it working way down. And that's that's a New York guy anyway. It's a New York business guy. You're right, you're right. Oh, shit, he's going to have me killed. No, he just wants to shake my hand. <laughs> right, right. That's well, he wants to make sure you look me in the eye when you shake my hand. Right, right. right. That's pretty funny. So, so that's the, the way I see, that's what, how I see. Right. Every time he opens his mouth, they call it lies. That's not a lie. Right. It's a negotiating position. Right, right. It's and really what it is. This man. Oh, I mean, he's written books on it. Yeah, Art yeah, of the deal. Yeah, That's, yeah. He's written books on that. Right. And they call know, him a strategy. liar. Right. Oh, oh, he's made 1,200 lies in the first week in office. Really? How about he's made 1,200 positions? He staked out 1,200 positions. Right, right. There's different ways of looking at things. Right, right. right. Of course. Oh, because right. the other part, they never lie. Of course. Just misspoke. Right. You don't right. misspeak. You go to jail for misspeak. Right. Now, when you were when you were under like the crime commission and going through all that stuff, what what was Giuliani at that point? Was he already the mayor? No, but I made him the mayor. And Dinkins was the mayor under the commission. Dinkins appointed the commission to root out uh, alleged corruption. Right. I showed the commission how to find me. They ended up finding the whole 30th precinct. If you remember anything in the history, it's called Dirty Thirty. The Interesting. day after the Mullen Commission hearings broke, after I spoke, the next day they locked up the whole midnight ship in the 30th precinct in Manhattan. Well, they attributed that, that to me.